On my YouTube channel, I've done a little bit of redstone. Yeah, just a little. So I decided to drop some of my knowledge and share how I started as a general Minecraft noob and became, not to toot my own horn or anything, one of the best redstoners on Bedrock Edition. Here is how to become a redstone master. When I began dabbling with redstone, I gave myself very, very low expectations. Hello my friends and welcome to another brand new Minecraft Let's Play video. Now quick disclaimer, before I start the video, I am a little sick and I... <coughs> I didn't expect to magically build a 3x3 piston door or make a realistic elevator. I just made double piston extenders, little trap doors, or on rare occasions, even triple piston extenders, which were horrendous. So, we press the button. Yeah. That's a lot happening. Oh dear, I can't believe I made that. Point is, I didn't set my standards above what they should have been as a beginner, and that is exactly what you should do as well. Set your standards low. Now, this is a beginner step, obviously Pac-Man isn't a low standard, even for me. But as someone who's new to the fundamentals of redstone, which I talk about in this video here, link will be in the description, you shouldn't stretch yourself out with standards that are practically impossible for you to reach at that level. Just enjoy the ride while the waves are low, because it's about to get wild. After my initial I do funny double piston extender phase, I started stealing things, and you should do the same. Steal things from YouTube, or TikTok if you want to go there. Whether it be a tutorial or a world download, and try to understand how it works. Now what you shouldn't do is make content on other people's content. That is just wrong, and you should never partake in such terrible but crimes. But Lobster, you stole the Bowtie Man's redstone contraption before. Oh wait, what? Oh no, no, I don't remember doing yes, that. Yes, you did, and he left an angry comment uh, telling okay. you that you okay. committed a Sh crime. Shut up! I don't care, okay? I have some nerve you have. Okay, so maybe all the history isn't the cleanest, but let me make the mistake for you, okay? It is not having fun having people mad at you for stealing their things and uploading them in worse quality. So, step two. Steal, but don't steal. Learn from other people's redstone, but don't pretend it's Imagine yours. Imagine being a hypocrite. That's it! After you've had your brawls with other redstone YouTubers and have upset everyone in the redstone community, you can now try to recover by learning piston doors. <laughs> and yes, there are other things you can do with redstone, but piston doors teach you so much about physical and logical mechanics of redstone. So my next step, and yours too, should be spend a long period of time making piston doors. I did this for the entire summer of 2020 and came out of my misery knowing a lot about redstone. Some things you should do during this very large self masterclass type of thing is learn how to use comparators and some experimentation with flying machines. All this knowledge accumulating in your brain is about to bubble up into some good use because here comes the choice. Choose. Choose what you want your major to be. Whether you stick with piston doors, make flying machines, make super complicated logic, computational, technical, the possibilities are endless. Think about it as a college major. You have basic skill sets like math, language, science, and history. But then you go for a major that you want to be your future career choice. The same applies to redstone. You now have the basic knowledge of your components and how redstone works on your version of Minecraft. So now you just have to pick what aspect of Minecraft redstone you want to expand on. Go on YouTube, search things up, get inspiration, enjoy your new life as a Minecraft redstoner. Hope you enjoyed my little crash course. It was pretty fun to make. Uh, please sub and bye! Yes, do the haha -ha funny sub.